Cards or dice, life or death. It's all just a gamble. Tonight, the dice are loaded, the life is mine, and to gamble, one final game. Let's begin. I never understood why people care so much about this drama stuff in ETC, and I'm beginning to wonder that everyone's only doing this for views. It's always been about views. I like the red filter he has going on. It's like in post-production he was like, I want them to know I'm extremely angry. What I'm saying and how I'm saying it won't be enough. I need the filter. I'm an anime character pushed too far and they're gonna know it. I posted a couple of times trying to mess with him, you know, make fun of his nose and stuff. But dude, you're over here like putting my whole name out there. Here's a fun piece of Battlefront drama trivia for you, Gamble. I wasn't actually the first person to name drop you, and you'll never guess who it was. You guys were showing Snapchat screenshots of some completely random guy that isn't even Gamble Fiction. The guy's name in the video that they're showing is Malachi Scott. Gamble Fiction's real name is Malachi Benedict. So I don't know why you guys are showing a completely... If it was okay for Isoka to name drop you in front of 170,000 people, why can't I do it? You know, I really didn't want to make this video, but it seems like I'm just going to have to keep this video up. This video is not getting deleted. You know, I really hope so. I thought you weren't going to delete those first three videos on me, but knowing that this one is safe is a real treat. And yes, I did change my name, guys. Reasons why I did is because I have some little quote, quote, you know, altercations going on with visitation and all that stuff. So you changed your name on YouTube because you were having visitation issues from the Battlefront drama and you thought changing your YouTube name would help the situation at all. You're having complications seeing your kid because the mother saw the video and is trying to minimize time with your kid. That's what you're saying. Alright, so the foundation of this video is starting to make sense. Mere hours before this video was uploaded, you commented on the recent video using your alt account, saying Gamble doesn't exist, so who are you exposing? Now, if your objective was to circumvent hate by changing your name, then throw the name change in my face, that's a pretty flawed plan. But it doesn't stop there. Minutes after I respond to this comment, that's totally not you, you call me gay on your main account for quote, worrying about another guy. Now, I'm not sure what this means for you, seen as though you've made four videos on me now. I guess you meant to make calling me gay an insult? You do it more than once in this video as well. Now my question is, are you actually like gay or some shit? Why do you have me in your phone, bro? Do you want to explain to me why you're a homosexual, Borpo? In the modern era of YouTube, I find that style of trash talk to be pretty brave, seen as though it's something that can absolutely destroy your career in the future. But I think it's even more ambitious for you to use being gay as an insult after you have an interaction like this. Slow down, baby. So there was a little connection there, but you didn't like dudes like that? What are we supposed to make of that, Gamble? You didn't use to like dudes like that? But how about now? You're out here saying I like dudes, but you're also out here DMing guys in the middle of an argument saying that you had a crush on them. Not bad, not bad. Not you. Holy shit. What does this mean? I need to locate the insults in the homoerotic DMs with Durans. You want to explain to me why you're a homosexual, Borpo? The bullet entered through the window there. Now where did it hit? The trajectory the hypocrisy traveled will lead me to the closeted scammer. Ain't no way, bruh. I'm not gay. 
Corporal is the gay one. You gotta believe me. It's okay if you're bisexual, dude. It's 2023. Nobody gives a shit. I just find it funny that you're still trying to make videos, telling people to like and subscribe, while being completely ignorant to the statements that will totally derail your channel if you become even semi-relevant in the future. You just can't think ahead. And in a business where words have great effect, thinking ahead is a very important skill to have. That's why I don't care about you deleting any of these videos or hell, even your own channel. All the words you've said, everything you've done, will eventually catch up to you. No matter how big your channel gets, no matter how much grinding you do, it will always come back to bite you in the ass and render all of your hard work useless. Your channel is already dead. I'm just here to film the corpse. And all y'all are being brainwashed right now, like seriously, like, how does a person spend like over five months to six months worrying about somebody else? Like, shouldn't he be out getting a girlfriend and getting his life together? Yeah, you assumed quite a bit there, dude. I didn't spend five to six months thinking about you. I just have people you think are your friends, people in your Discord sending me evidence of you being a piece of shit. There wasn't a lot of work to be done. The main reason I finally got to making that video was to show that through all of your claims of receiving death threats, you were shooting it right back to somebody else and taunting them in their post about it. Saying only three people were gonna see this. You were incorrect, Gamble. It's a bit more than three now. The whole- You sneeze, bro. Like you- like you pull that tit box of tissues out, bro. The whole- the whole room is dying. Like, <laughs> you sneeze, we're all dying, bro. Like, seriously. But the funny part is, Vorpal, I'm not ugly like you, bro. <laughs> and also, that video you had of me where I was grinding on a teddy bear, I was- 14 years old, bro. What year is that, Vorpal, huh? What year is that? You know, I used to be a big influencer and stuff, but why are you have 14-year-old video of me in your phone? Now, my question is, are you actually, like, gay or some shit? Uh, no. It was a rare gem I found while researching your countless fan accounts on Instagram, all made by you. That makes you look like an idiot. It's pretty hilarious. You think I wanted all those pics of you on my phone? Come on, let's go. Cough it up. Up, 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 up. Oh, down, 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 down. And you're trying to call me gay for screenshotting them? So everybody who bought Roderick Rules on Blu-ray is now gay because it features a scene of a 12-year-old Greg trying to escape from psycho grannies. Very profound logic, dude. You're only exposing me and doing all this quote quote exposing of being a pedo with nothing else but one single screenshot on PlayStation, that makes zero sense. There's actually a bit more than that. She flirts with me because she knows what I look like, talking with some dude about how you have to watch yourself because she's not 18 yet, but it's okay because she's turning 18 soon. We also have the full interview with Cosmic, and we also have evidence that you were responding to her little flirts for quite a bit of time. So if you're not into that kind of thing, why not just block her or stop responding instead of interacting with the minor over a long period of time before conversing about how she's turning 18 soon? Kinda sounds like grooming, doesn't it? You were spawn camping the minor until people called you out on it. And secondly, bro, like why are you even talking smack, bro? Like, do you see me? Like, like I said, I'm not ugly like you, Vorpal. You're an ugly piece of shit, bro. Look at this. He's getting edgy. I appreciate your honesty, bruv. But, my mom calls me handsome, like, all the time, so I think I'm good. So, whatever you gotta tell about me, Warpo, if you make another response video, that will be five videos plus two shorts. That's seven things about me, bro. Uh, I don't have seven huge videos on you, Gamble. I made, like, two and name-dropped you a couple times in other videos. You made four on me and talk about me maybe 20 times per stream. Because if, if you're inviting Vorpal in here... <laughs> you think Vorpal's my friend? You even have your own fans talking about being your Discord server 24-7, bro. Like, 24-7. They always talk about me. I appreciate that you're in my Discord server 24-7, but I'm gonna have to disagree. They don't actually talk about you 24-7. They just send memes and talk about their lives like chads. If you think it's a cool server and want to be a moderator, just say so. I used to be good friends with Ahsoka. I used to be like in his little response video. And the whole reason why I'm getting like harassed right now is because pretty much we exposed Ham Solo for being racist. 
some of Warfel's ideas, so let's expose Gamble for doing this and that. I think you're missing the big picture. I don't have a grudge against you because you were friends with Isoka. That's fucking ridiculous. I make these videos because you are a predator, a scammer, a terrible duelist, and a massive hypocrite. If you were just Isoka's friend, how would I make these videos without running out of content within the first 30 seconds? This makes no fucking sense. Why people spend this much energy harassing somebody over the internet. Spending over 36 plus hours making a video on me, right? You think I spent 36 hours on that video? Well, thank you, but no, it was more like 10. I just compiled some screenshots, wrote a script, and had some fun with editing. I think you overestimate your importance a little bit too much. But uh, thank you for thinking that the video took me more than a day. I don't know if you meant that as a compliment, but I'll take it. You know, I hope you guys are all having a good day and stuff. You know, I'm just, I'm only doing this because, like, you guys need some actual, like, info with the whole situation. What is the info you speak of, Gamble? So far, you've just called me gay, called me ugly, and said that the evidence of you being a groomer isn't true. Which it is. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not groom her. I did not. You have absolutely nothing of substance yet. But there's still time. Maybe we'll get a doubloon. is isn't why I'm really getting attacked because Vorpo's good friends with Ham Solo. Like he is. Very good friends with him. Ham Solo and I are not best buds. We played together like twice on PSN and just like calling out people that suck. It's really not that deep, dude. Plus, I only have one best bud. You're not even showing them the screenshots where I responded back to you and where you're actually ducking the 1v1. Because let's be truth, you won't 1v1 me, bro. You're a pussy. You know you are. You're scared. No, I think that after beating you eight times in a row and countless other times on alt accounts, that you're not actually good at Battlefront and that it would be a huge waste of time. That's why you're making videos to clarify all this up. You're only making videos about people, right? To get views. Because you can't get views. I don't know if you can comprehend this, but I don't actually care about the views I get from making videos about you. Nobody really knows who you are. I'm not clout chasing somebody with 1k subs, dude. I'm doing this because I like dragging your face through the mud. It's not about money. It's a passion project. You know, I hope you guys all have a great day. And don't look at this like as an, as an attack towards him. I just need to roast him because he's roasting me. So why not do it back? So if you're getting mad because I'm roasting you, Vorpal, maybe you're just a fucking hypocrite, bro. I didn't even begin to roast you. I brought up your statements and showcased terrible interactions you've had with other human beings. It wasn't that personal. I didn't call you ugly. I didn't call you gay. Do you think you'd be having visitation problems if all I did was roast you? And also, bro, get the fuck off Battlefront. Go get a girlfriend, bro. You're ugly, bro. Go back to Tinder where you belong. Maybe you're right. Maybe I... Maybe I do need to look for a girlfriend. It's just... It's just been so hard lately. I... If only I was as beautiful as you, Malachi Benedict, maybe I could be getting pussy. But the beauty wasn't enough for your baby mama to stay, was it? What was it that drove her out? Did she get to know the real you? Like you're still having the same bed frame since I last seen you six months ago, bro. And your bed's still sitting on the fucking carpet, bro. Like seriously. Ah, you got me. I don't have a bed frame. But once I move in with my girlfriend in about two months, a girlfriend that I still have, mind you, I will have a pretty nice one, so it's all good. I hope at some point you become at least a little bit self-aware because I'm done trying to help. Now, it's not really I'm done trying to help. It's more like you're just boring now. You have the same three emotes on repeat. You're ugly, you're gay, and 1v1 me or else. It's kind of stale. That's all your brain can wrap itself around, and I would feel bad if you weren't just a dog shit human being. So, I feel very comfortable when I wrap this up by saying, you're just boring now. I think that's a better description for your channel. Stupid and boring. That's a better fit. Not imagine hating me. I don't hate you. You're just this pulsating sack of pus that gets more pathetic each time you open up your trap. Let's take it back a few notches. I want stupid and boring on my tombstone. 
that actually goes pretty hard. With that being said, it is time to close the case on Gamble Fiction, aka Malachi Benedict, aka Shirt Pants, Dork Genius, whatever the fuck. Gamble, it's been fun. I'm gonna miss your brain dead statements and the weird sounds you make on stream. <laughs> Kitty has to go.